Backsliding. Real Talk with Cherry Mahogany. Google states the definition of backsliding is the action of relapsing into bad ways or error, or to go back to doing something bad when you've been doing something good, especially to stop working hard or to fail to do something that you agreed to do. In this video, I'm referring to backsliding from a Christian point of view. Backsliding is a word that used to be used a lot. I'm Gen X. People used to really try to stay on that narrow path, meaning people in church and Christians in general. I don't hear the word used as often lately because in my opinion, the bar has been lowered to where, for example, if a person is fornicating or doing things that God has made clear he does not approve of in the word, instead of calling it backsliding, it's just considered being an imperfect person. You know, nobody's perfect. There are a few churches I know of that use that slogan, no perfect people allowed, as if to say it's wrong to strive to be a perfect Christian. Obviously that's impossible because Jesus Christ is the only person that ever walked this earth that was perfect. But we are supposed to strive to walk like Jesus did in perfection, in holiness, not boastfully walking around like we're perfect. But I do feel there's nothing wrong with saying you're imperfect. However, we should be striving for holiness. And I do find that is missing in the modern Christian church. But to go back to backsliding, my personal experience with backsliding has always come down to just getting frustrated with trying to live a life that was holy and failing. Instead of falling on my knees and repenting, no matter how many times I had to do that, but there was a giving up and just staying down. But there's a responsibility that we as Christians, as believers have, that it cannot be ignored. We have to make decisions that keep us on the narrow path because if you consider backsliding, walking on a narrow sidewalk, but on the edges of both sides of that sidewalk, there's a slippery slope. You would understand that you have to watch where you're stepping, be mindful of where you're going. You can't close your eyes and just start trotting along and acting like there's no danger on either side of you. You'd really need to be mindful of your steps and what you do, who you spend time with, everything or backsliding can happen. The beauty of backsliding is if you do slip, you can grab on to something, there's a rail there, and that rail is repentance. You fall on your knees and you ask God to forgive you for your sins that you have committed against him. You get back on the narrow path, on the sidewalk, into the safety of the Lord's arms, and you continue walking carefully, slowly, holding Jesus' hand the whole way. My experience with backsliding was if I slipped, there were times I just made a decision not to repent for it. And possibly I'd look around at other Christians and many of them seemed perfectly fine doing the same thing that I just did. So I would just find myself interacting with a new group of Christians instead of trying to be considered a holy or perfect living person. This is where backsliding has led me in the past. And I think the sobering part of talking about backsliding is understanding this is not a game. This is not a trivial situation. To truly take the word of God at its true word, literally, 
in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 through 19. It says, Do you not know that the wicked will not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. The sexual immoral, idolaters, nor adulterers, prostitutes, homosexuals, effeminates, thieves, the greedy, drunkards, swindlers, slanderers will not inherit the kingdom of God. And that is what some of you were, but you were washed and sanctified. You were justified and made by the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. Sorry if I messed that up at all. So backsliding is a dangerous thing, not so much to fall into sin, but to stay in that sin and to refuse to repent and to assume that although you made a decision to walk with God, that you're safe forever. But remember, backsliding means to go back and to not do the thing that you promised to do. So we forfeit the kingdom of God. <laughs> to stay down, to refuse to repent, and to get back on that narrow path, it's a very dangerous game that we're playing if we do that. Because there is no inheritance of the kingdom of God. In other words, hell awaits. So, in Matthew 12, 43 through 45, it describes what happens when a person is born again. It says, when it arrives, referring to a demon, it finds the house unoccupied, swept clean. Then, it goes and it finds seven more wicked than itself, and they go in and live there. And the final condition is worse than the first, and that's how it will be for this wicked generation. So if you notice, it says that it goes there, the demon, and it finds it clean and unoccupied. That means the Holy Spirit was not there. So it's not enough to just clean up one's life and to stop sinning. We need to be filled with the Holy Spirit and to understand that sinful activity grieves the Holy Spirit. And we need to have a fear of God so when we do sin, we ask God for forgiveness and we repent. And we ask the Lord God for strength. Because truthfully, there are only two places to go. Once we're gone, once we take our final breath, we go to heaven with God or we go to hell. And that should be the way that we live our lives when it comes to backsliding. God bless you, and I pray that you'd stay on the narrow path.